What's up, friends? Fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and it's time for another Fairfield Fanatic Friday. Uh, today we are doing one of these newer uh, Fairfield Pharmacy boxes that don't have the window in them. I've opened one of these before a few weeks back, and it wasn't very good. I've seen a few other people um, open these as well, and they weren't that good. So, I don't have high expectations for this box, but let's find out what we got in here. Okay, we'll see what the date is on this one. Like I said, not very high expectations on this box because from what I've seen, these uh, pharmacy boxes aren't as good as the ones with the windows in them. Uh, the older boxes. Let's see if I can get a focus here on the date. There you go. February 11th, 2020. Let's see what our pack is. Looks like score. I see a Braves card in there. Let's just go ahead and pull all these out here. Speaking of score, there's score falling out here. Empty box. Oops. Alright, what year score is this? This is a uh, 90 score, so maybe we get us a Frank Thomas rookie in there. Be cool. Let's flip these over, since they all seem to be facing the other way. And go ahead and... <laughs> I say that, there's a Card flipped over in the back. All right, so so we got in this first stack here. Okay, it just seems to be that first card that was flipped over. It's a Kirk McCaskill. Focus. All right, we got a Lenny Webster, an Outlighter, not a, not a rookie. Tom Foley, Jimmy Key, looking all happy, goofy. We got Lou Pinella, eighty-three. Hold on one second, getting a phone call. Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call. I had to take. All right, let's get back into it. Uh, Lou Pinello is the last card. We got a... Who's that? Cameron Smith. Ithaca. This is from Classic 93. Kind of hard to read. He's an 84 Eric Show. Show in his pitch face. Uh, we got a traded Tom Murphy. <laughs> Look at that collar. Uh, that's hilarious. This card's off cut. Dinged up, stained. I don't know what year this is from. If y'all know what year that's from, let me know. We got a Herb Perry. We got a Scherzer. There's a star. We got a Mark Hutton from Leaf. We got a Mark Garden Gardner. Paul O'Neill. Jimmy Moyer in his 20th year of playing. He's a Griffey Sr. Bill Swift. Pascal Perez. Tom Filer. He's at 80 Chet Lemon. It's in pretty good shape. Not bad. He's at 80 Gary Alexander. That one's also in pretty good shape. A little off center. He's at 87 Bobby Bowe. I don't know if that's considered a rookie or not. Wasn't his rookie 86? No, I'll set that one aside. Here's a J.A. Bell, 88. Oda B. McDowell. Dwight Evans, 88. <laughs> this card always cracks me up. Ed Lynch is looking all hungover. Oh, put on your glasses. It's Luis Polonia. Oh, uh, we got another one coming up. Todd Zeal, Tom Browning, and uh, Ty Griffin. Ty Griffin, uh, number one draft pick. Looks like he played for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. At 14 home runs as a junior. Not too shabby. Alright, still looking for first Hall of Famer, of course. Uh, here's Chuck Finley showing off his smile that got him Tony Katane and then quickly regretted it. Here's a Don Russ MVP, Andy Van Slyke, Gary Ward. We got a John Moses, let my people go. We got a Marvell Wynn, Pedro Munoz. Denny Nagel, Jim Abbott, Eric King, Rick Shu, Ken Phelps, Kevin McReynolds, Ken Tecolve. Look at those glasses. Man, that card looks looks like it's straight out of the 70s, even though it's an 81. Scott Terry, Greg Matthews, Bob Tewksbury, Gary Rinicky. 
Phil Landrum. We got an Angel sticker. We got a couple of these All Star stamp cards: Cole Calhoun and Mitch Moreland. Those are parallels. Ooh, we got a Topps Chrome in here. Topps Chrome update. That's interesting. 2019 Topps Chrome update: Gary Sanchez. Jose Alvarez, there's Braves card. Jim Sunberg, Dave Vallier. What's this? It's Brian McCray. Ooh, Diamond Kings. Shiny Diamond Kings. That's a slick looking Diamond Kings there, Brian McCray. Kind of like that card. What year was this? 94. 94 Donruss Diamond Kings, Brian McCray. That is, that is a slick looking card. Good job by Dick Perez there. I like that one. Uh, we got a Steve Frey, Ken Daly, Fleer, it's a Brave, Ron Oyster with some of the wax pack uh, left on it. So these turned around. Here's a Mark Lemke, 1990. Second year card, Mark Lemke, John Johnstone. Here's a Ray Knight, Fleer from 81. 81 Fleer, Ray Knight. Dan Gladden, Wayne Garland, also an 81. Dan Plezak, Lance Parrish. Yeah, Paul O'Neill, early Paul O'Neill. It's a wax card. It's got wax stain all on the back. You got Tim Cruz, Jeff Parrott. This card feels like it's got wax all over the front or the back as well. Like both of these are wax cards, but it's a brave. We got Mike Morgan, another one of these All Star parallels. Jimmy Nelson. And Todd Stottlemyre. Todd Stottlemyre. Got some 89s in here. Juan Nieves. John Tudor. Ozzy Virgil. Paul O'Neill. Danny Heap. One more in here. Nope. Antonio Osuna. Paul O'Neill. Aquino. Here's a Sammy Sosa second year card. Tops. Uh, got some 89 Fleers in here. Gene Harris. Greg Briley. John Smiley. Luis Aguayo, Damon Berryhill, Checklist, Royal Sticker, another Todd Stottlemyre, and a Mike Sims. You can see why um, people are saying these aren't as good because you're really not getting that, that name power. You're not getting that star power in these uh, in these packs. Like, I haven't hit a Hall of Famer yet. Um, i got a Sammy Sosa. That's a star. Um, Scherzer's a star, but, you know, it's just a base card. Like, where's the Hall of Famers at? I want to see the Hall of Famers. That's why I buy Fairfields. I want to get some Hall of Famer cards, even if they're Junk Wax Hall of Famers. Uh, Jay Bell. Bruce Hurst. Hensley Mullins. Mike Perez. Rick Dempsey. Jamie Quirk. Gerald Clark. Jim Eppard. Dickie Thon, Frank Viola, and Mike Sharperson. So, the whole Fairfield, and not a single Hall of Famer. Not a single one. That's why these newer boxes suck. <laughs> you know? I mean, I, I'm happy I get some Braves cards. Got a cool Diamond Kings in there. That's a really cool Dick Perez card right there. A Bobby Bow, non-rookie. I don't think that's a rookie. A Max Scherzer base got a few of these All Star stamps. Had a surprise 2019 update Chrome in there, which was interesting. It would be nice to have a couple more of those in there, and then some older cards here, which are nice. Um, the older Fleers and these uh, 1980 cards are actually in pretty good shape. I don't know what year this Tom Murphy is. Uh, doesn't say on the back. Uh, this says 1973, so I'm assuming this is 74. It's 496 tops traded. It's not in the greatest shape, but it's a vintage card in my opinion. So, I wish the Fairfields, the newer ones, will get better. Hopefully they, they will improve uh, for their second run. Because usually they do a early run, and then I think they, they do runs like three times a year, if I had to guess. They do one early in the year, and then they do one... In the middle of the summer, and then one usually in December, um, from what I've seen. So, two or three. They either do it probably twice a year. 
Um, but let's see what we got in this 90 score. Got a trivia card right there. It's kind of stuck to this other card. All right. Hopefully, we get a nice rookie, or maybe even a Hall of Famer. Just one Hall of Famer. Let's get a Hall of Famer. Pat Borders. The first one was Dan Plezak. Glenn Davis. Stuck to Mike Felder. We got this thing's got a square on it. You see that? Where that trivia card was on it. You see that line right there? It's kind of hard to see. But there's a very distinctive line going across this card where that other card was stuck to it. Kevin Romine, Luis Polonia, Dave Gervecki, Mike Lavalier, Bob Forsh, Dave Steeb, Gary Templeton, Dwayne Ward, Steve Jeltz, Phil Stevenson, and Carlos Quintana. Oof, that score pack was bad. Score pack was bad. I didn't think there was a Brave in there, was there? No Braves, no Hall of Famers. Whole lot of nobodies. Well, that was the Fairfield break. I wish it could have been more exciting for you. I wish it could have been more exciting for myself. <laughs> um, you know, got a few cards that, that are somewhat no noteworthy. You know, like I always say with Fairfields, you're, you know, it's like digging through a nickel box. But even a nickel box, you'll find a 89 Dave Winfield or, you know, 88 Wade Boggs or something like that, you know. Um, it's kind of sad there's no no Hall of Famers in these. So if you come across these at the, the pharmacy, get the ones with the windows. The ones without windows have been really weak um, from what I've seen so far. Will I stop buying them? Nah, probably not. I love my I love opening Fairfields. <laughs> I enjoyed opening that one even though it was terrible. But I'll leave it at that. So this is the card obvious where you can only control two things. That's your thoughts and your actions. So stay positive. Keep ripping them packs. And I'll catch you all later. Have a great weekend. Peace.